I'm talking about my evaluation stage to the graded unit. Um, the whole graded unit was a 12 week intervention program based off a client and the main goal was to achieve, get an aim from the client and give them some nutritional advice. So there were three stages to the graded unit. There was planning, development and evaluation. The whole planning stage, that was basically getting information based off the client and also finding useful journals that could help within the development stage and help with um, writing um, gym programs. Um, also writing a time scale in the planning stage um, was beneficial so it would kind of give you some tasks to focus on within the development stage so you would meet the aims and objectives. So after meeting up with the client, um, we had a kind of in-depth discussion, filled out a parkour form to see what their medical history was like, what they enjoyed about the exercise, what they didn't enjoy, and what their current kind of nutrition life was like. Um, so after an in-depth discussion, um, I came up with an aim, which is outlined here. So it's kind of a 12-week circuit training program with nutritional consideration, improve a 24-year-old untrained female's aerobic capacity. So my client was basically out of exercise for years and she really wanted to kind of get her basic general fitness levels up. Um, I feel like a circuit chain programme would do this rather than throw her into the deep end in our gym and putting her on weights. So there was main objectives to um, the project that helped the client try and achieve their aim. So we initially conducted an initial meeting with Park U and found out what they wanted to achieve. Um, we also conducted several dynamic and static fitness tests, which I'll talk about a little bit later on. Um, I devised an effective exercise programme that suited the client's um, main aim. Carried out an nutritional assessment, um, which the client filled out a seven day food diary and I analysed that and gave them some advice based off that. And then at the end, evaluated and discussed the overall results and gave the client some overall feedback. So with the development stage, the kind of main goals that we achieved was doing some fitness tests pre, mid and post of the 12 week training programme. The fitness tests that were chosen were based off the client's main aim and also based off evidence that um, I researched online as well. The training programme, which you'll probably see in the next slide, was based off evidence by AESC, how do you say, AESC, TM circuit training and high interval training. Um, the client was asked to participate in the circuits three times a week and it was three times a week based off evidence again and they were asked to fill out a food diary for seven days so that, that was them filling out what they were eating and drinking throughout the seven days and then the back of that book was their thoughts and feelings of what they thought about the overall training. So this is an example of the training programme, this is week one to week four. So gradually throughout the 12 weeks, the, it progressed a little bit with um, exercises. So with the warm up, they started with the rowing machine and with the circuit, um, it was nine exercises within the 12 weeks. Um, the work ratio was 30 seconds per station, 30 seconds recovery. Um, the work ratio was based off research by Kravitis L. 2014 higher interval training. And um, another document it's based off was high interval circuit training, um, which is outlined in the board, and that was evidence just to prove what I chose was actually based off evidence. So as you can see, um, with some of the exercises with knee press ups, so it started off as a kind of basic exercise, we've got the knee plank, um, We've got some skipping and jumping jacks which is working on the cardio system and some lower weight exercises like squat and lunges. Then this is the week 5 to week 8 programme. Uh, kind of similar exercises but we're adding like a little bit of weight. With the kettlebell swings we're adding 5 kilograms on. With the lunges we're adding a little pulse just to progress it a little bit. Um, 
And then with the plank, it's a full plank. And again, it's the same work ratio um, as before, based off research, so I was backing it up. Then, chain program week 9 to week 12. It's a little bit um, more intense, so the kettlebell swings, it's set 8 kilograms. I've got some kettlebell upright rows, up and down plank, and then we're introducing some dumbbells to the lunges. And again, it's the same work ratio. Also, um, within the programme, which is not outlined in the board, is went for evening runs. So I went for an evening run three times um, a week as well. That's based off evidence um, online. And it was just like 30 minute walks, um, just to get the kind of aerobic capacity levels up for the client as well. So this is the overall results. As you see, there's a kind of blank space over there. Forgot to fill that in. Um, so the pre, mid and post test results, so based off the results on the board, you can see there wasn't much change with the client. Um, so their blood pressure stick to the same, their peak flow didn't really change, and their kind of 12 minute Cooper run, there wasn't much improvement with that. So with the pre, mid test, they ran 1,500 metres, based off the norms online, that's kind of below average. Um, so problems with the project, the main issue was probably time management, um, failed to stick to the original time plan that was based in the plan stage, also the client was quite committed to work in university, so when I went to attempt um, arrange meetings with the client, they would make excuses that they were really busy, they were really stressed, so that really kind of was probably the main failure to the project because it would have probably worked if the client adhered to more exercise. So in the future, um, what I could or could have done was I could have discussed more times and dates with the client, had an in-depth discussion, and if I knew about their work schedule in university in advance, I could have picked another client and got the project to actually work. Um, another issue was lack of motivation from the client. So when I was working with the client with the circuits, at times they would refuse to do the exercise, they would take breaks. Um, so it was quite hard for me to actually really motivate them and actually get them to do anything. Um, and the client was also always feeling stressed. So when we did meet up, she'd be telling me about how stressed she was and how she was struggling to exercise because of this. Um, but what I could have done was I could have conducted more positive body language to kind of change her perception a bit and get her to actually exercise a bit more. Um, a couple of strengths for the project. I'd say um, there was a lot of in-depth analysis produced in the planning stage, which did help me a bit in the development stage. So I conducted an in-depth health screening um, that kind of, gave, kind of gave me a good gauge into their previous exercising routine and health history and things like that. Also, that review gave me a lot of information and that's how I've got to the main name of the project. Um, journal reviews from the planning stage helped me in the development stage, particularly with the training programmes, um, so that was really beneficial. And also research into fitness tests, so um, a, lot, a lot of information based off fitness test norms and protocols and things like that. Um, overall, I think the training programme um, was effective. If the client adhered to it more, I think it would have worked and we would have got better results um, because the training programme was based off factual evidence that it wasn't made up either. And there was also a gradual process with progression and a variety of exercises as well, working the upper and lower body. Um, weaknesses of the project, lack of communication. So ultimately that really affected the result. Um, there wasn't a strong communication between me or the client. Um, we could have been talking more, we could have been trying to arrange more meetings to make it work, but um, we failed to like do that and that really affected the overall result as well. Um, another weakness, lack of organisation. So I failed to push the project forward. I could have persisted with the client a bit more um, or changed client as well, but I think I was being a bit lazy. 
and another thing was basic nutritional, nutritional advice. Um, so the client did take um, a seven day food diary, but my write up for that was not very good. There could have been more advice given um, for the client to like improve their diet, so that's something I can take forward in the future and actually give like, a more in depth analysis. And then to conclude, the overall project was not successful and the client did not achieve the overall goal. So based off everything I said, there was many issues that arise from the project which affected the overall result. Um, in the future, um, I need to improve more overall time management and be more organised. Um, I've also learned that I need to deal with issues more professionally with a positive outcome rather than thinking negatively and like trying to move on. Any questions? What did you learn from doing this project? Well, did I learned not to leave anything last minute. If I finally woke up to it, um, leaving things last minute is not the best way to do things. So it's something I'm going to take forward to like university and make sure I'm more organised and get things done.